Hey Internet, this is Michael Intenza of Panted Plum Studios and I just wanted to wish you all a happy new year and this is the very first video of 2022 and it's just going to be me talking about what I'm going to be doing this year and what I have planned in store. So yeah, let's get into that. Uh, first things first, I'm going to talk about what shorts I'm going to be releasing this year. The shorts I'm going to be releasing this year are based off of two show ideas I had. The first is computers, PCs, and, and internal operators, which is taking place in cyber space inside of like a computer-esque world that's virtual and such. And some of you who might be following me on Instagram will know that I made reels for an office and a futuristic looking police car car which were pretty cool those i am announcing that those are a part of the short film i'm starting early development on it so yeah that'll that'll be coming out i don't know i don't have an exact date but i'm hoping for sometime in may maybe june just stick around these these things take a while to make um, the other short film I have in mind is based off of uh, another idea I came up with called Sticks, which is uh, about these uh, free hillbillies and their obscure Chuck E. Cheese animatronic spoof going around their town that's on the border between Virginia and Tennessee and just doing stuff. The thing, I actually have plans for Sticks because I actually plan to make a full series about it someday, and it's actually going to be a car, an adult cartoon that isn't a comedy. It's going to be a slice of life show that's entertaining, and yeah, we yeah, it's going to be interesting. And uh, I actually created a lot of characters for it. Um, I'm act, um, I'm showing off a few of them right now. Um, I'm not saying your names because you can see their names right there, but. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm recording this off of my phone. I'm not editing it well, but yeah, you can see them right here and on my Instagram as well. Uh, I also, and uh, the other day, I uh, created Pete's truck, which is pretty cool. I really like how it turned out. And if, the, if you couldn't tell by the art style, it's meant to be like stick figures and black and white. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, well, and, uh, since I'm rambling, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm also, I should also tell you all about the characters for the upcoming, I mean, uh, computer PCs and other inner operators, and, uh, let me, let me tell you their names. So, we have the main character, Zelica, who, who is, like, uh, the main leader of the, tr of, a uh, main tree, who's, like, the leader of the main trio from, uh, computer PCs and our inner operators, and uh, I actually came up with an idea for her backstory being was that she was originally a character developed for a indie project, and she was meant to be like for transgender representation, but she ended up being just a, just only that with, with very little else, and because of that the project died and she got cast away in the cyber space where she sort of developed her own personality of being a uh, being a rebellious type of character, but still tries to protect her, uh, the computer cyberspace. Uh, yeah, we also have uh, my one of my personal favorites, Jackpot, who, if you couldn't tell, is meant to be like a character from a gambling from an online gambling game. He's like a slot machine, and and yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. I, I really like how he turned out. And then there's ABC Blockbot. He was like a edu character from an educational game where where it was Flash and he doesn't have any work anymore because Flash was discontinued in 2020. So he hangs out with the guys and sometimes visits his abandoned website because cyberspace. Next, we have the main villain of the series, Virence who's like a virus robot. I, I like the color scheme of black, black, gray, blue, white, and green. And uh, yeah, his hands are meant to be like USB chips with crossbones on, the, crossbones on them. Uh, I'm not gonna say too much about his personality because I actually have like a pretty massive reveal I have planned in case I make it into a series one day. But yeah, I just don't wanna spoil anything. Next we have Wirerif. He's just a character in the universe. I haven't figured out what he could do yet as of the time of recording this, but 
yeah, he has a lot of wires around him, and he's meant to be, like, a side character. And you know what? Considering I'm talking about the computer PCs and other interoperators, I might as well mention the Styx characters. Uh, here we have the uh, Styx ref sheet of the main characters, and from left to right we have Ekin, the pyrotechnician. We have Rickman, the man of arms. Pete, the leader. Dr. Ducker, who's meant to be this parody of this obscure Chuck E. Cheese animatron called Dr. Duck. And his backstory is that the guys bought him from an auction of pizza time feeder type memorabilia and they found him. So they fashioned some legs and some legs for him because the, those Chuck E. Cheese characters from, the, from that time period didn't have legs legs so they just fashioned him some legs and yeah he's now like their their muscle and uh draw and sometimes driver because he's a robot here we have pete's family and from left to right right we have artie who's pete's cousin who sort of like bob's bob from bob's burgers where he's just where he tries to but he tries to distance himself from, from Pete because Pete's a lot more rebellious and he's just providing for his family, consisting of Lauren, who's bubbly, and Aaron, their son, who has autism. And the and then over and then to the far right we have Vernon, who's who's Artie's grand father and Aaron's grandpa, and he's sort of like this veteran guy who who fought in World War II. He worked as a spy, spy, an American spy. He spied on, yeah, yeah, he spied on the Germans well, during the war, and yeah, that's my backstory for him. Uh, over Next up, we have Sheriff Dundee. He's uh, the police officer, and uh, because it takes place, and, because, and if you're wondering about about what, what Virginia C is, um, uh, with Virginia C. Um, if you're wondering what Virginia C is, it's actually the name of the town that's like on the border between Virginia and Tennessee. I might as well have mentioned that. And next to him, we have Deputy Swanson. He's the second to Dundee. Yeah, not too much about them. But no, no, yeah, that's that's all. Um, and finally, we have Aaron's friends. We have Erkin, who's Erkin's son, who's who's trailer trashed. He's a stoner. He's extremely immature. He's 22 years old. He's literally a failure. He doesn't have any kind of education from school because I, because he got expelled in the second grade. We have Doug, who's Aaron's smart friend and cynical friend. And at one point far into the show, I plan to be like a joke where he where is where where he's cynical and then and then Rodney over here, who's Doug's best friend, who has little self esteem, says, "Hey, Doug, stop being good at cinema sins." Okay, so that's so those are the characters for my two shows, and like, and like the league, like the Squatteration League, um, it's going to be completely silent with music and mostly visually because I, I'm still a beginner. So yeah, those are the shorts I have planned for this year. Um, as for when they're going to be released, um, I'm planning for May. Uh, I'm sort of sort of taking a slow break from from produ from getting too big into production with these films because I made the Squatteration League in December. And uh yeah, um speaking of the Squatteration League short, um I noticed it's at uh 65 views on YouTube and uh I can't thank you enough for 65 views because that's more than most of my than literally all of my other videos and I'm really glad it's picking up so thank you for that as well as 15 subscribers on YouTube and uh and uh uh sorry it's just loading here um, and uh 35 followers on on Instagram which is pretty cool yeah so yeah thanks for that and uh Oh, and uh, since my, since these shorts take a long time to make in terms of when I have time and and general scale, um, I'm actually going to do like some side projects. One of them is this mini web series I created specifically for this purpose called Macri and Smart Tricks, which is about this guy named Macri and a smart robot named, named Smart Tricks running a, a pawn shop in 
in Manhattan, New York. So that's going to be pretty cool and again, adventures. And I'm also planning on like making a video where I review my art books that I got for my birthday and Christmas and looking at the art books for, for various Pixar movies and the single Disney film film. And those are pretty cool. And I might show those off. I know this channel is largely for animation, but the only reason I'm doing this is for because, like I said, for Macri and Smart Tricks, it's just content meant to fill in the gaps between my large uploads. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I have planned for 2022. And, uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, stick around for those two shorts. Follow me on Instagram for updates. And let's see what the future has in store. So uh, happy new year and uh, happy Marfin Luther King Jr. Day, everyone.